It's Ms. Biz, and I'm cooking! Happy 4th of July, y'all. So, uh, I got this chicken, I got this steak, and I got these beef ribs, and look over there, there's some asparagus, and it's gonna be delicious. So, I'm gonna show you the process, and I have an assistant with me, but he went outside. We just gonna call him Hemlock, cause he my favorite type of poison. Hey, all right, so these are all soaking. This is the least amount of food I have ever decided to make. But since it's just going to be me and a couple of other people, they ain't going to eat much. So chicken, steak, beef, country style ribs, and asparagus. Over there, that is my mesquite so yeah I got this this is the mesquite wood um because I'm about that flavor y'all like that real flavor so I'll be back when I start doing the marinades and everything like that um I'm letting the I'm letting the uh, coals get hot and writ to go cause when I put on this meat it's gonna be good <laughs> alright I'll see y'all soon. So, oh, sorry. Um, my phone's finna die, and that's why you see this cord. So, sorry, not sorry. If you want some, then yeah. So, what I did was I put the put all this meat in water with a little bit of vinegar because that disinfects it. So, got some black pepper. Put some on here, some on here, and I'm basically going to season them the same, but I'm just going to put different amounts, which is going to change the flavor slightly. Got some Targon. Oh, it's so blurry. All right. All right, there we go. You saw what it was. Don't play with me. I usually use a bit more targon on the chicken because they're like chicken breasts because it can take it. Now this has, I like, I have two packages of the ribs and then I have some seasoned salt. Put a little in there. That stuff comes out like water. Got this paprika. It's smoked paprika, um, so it's going to give it a little more of a smoked flavor. Now I'm actually counting how many shakes I put. This is parsley. Oh, can't forget this one. Now, I'm not going to put this in the chicken, but I am going to put it on the on the, the ribs. That's about it. And we have vodka. So, and now we start getting into our liquids. Usually puts the liquid in last. And sploosh it and sploosh this real good and gotta put the top back on I don't have to because I could just open it up and drink and then, oh a little bit of soy sauce just a tiny bit now I put an equal amount I put an equal amount of shakes in all of these. And then, one of my favorites, but y'all don't see it much, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. We just slather that in real good. Do the same with this one. 
And then after that, when we get enough of everything, we're going to mix it all by hand. And it's going to be delicious. When we're going to put it on the grill, we're just going to pour all this juice on it as it cooks. Oh, and I also have my uh, wood chips soaking. So my wood chips are soaking, y'all. That means that, because they're over there. So when your wood chips are soaking, that means you'll get a better smoke. And it'll moisten the meat while it's smoking it. It's just moist, meaty meatness. You know. I'm thinking about it already. I'm hungry. I'll see y'all soon. And then, it's been special. But this, look at this piece of chicken. It's so juicy. Usually you get something that's dry. But you see the wetness and the juice just glistening off of it. Mm. A lot of people. Oh, sorry. A lot of people. Oh, it's so good. A lot of people overcook the chicken. That's half the problem. So you get some dry, like, cut your lip type of chicken. Like, you know how somebody got, like, I know this is wrong to compare with food, but you know people who can cut you with your feet? Well, like, with their feet? Not with your feet, but your feet might be like that, too. Were well, they so callous that they could just cut people with their feet? Not even the nails. Just, just the foot. That's what people's chicken be like sometimes. But they don't know what they're doing. They're mine. They're clean. Yes, I eat awful. Um, and then there's this right here. Look at all this. Look at all this juiciness. Mm. I'm sorry, but you know the second thing I ate today. Well, technically third. Mm. This is amazing. It's so good, but you have to make sure. That whenever you check your chicken, just stab through it, all the way through it. And if you see any kind of red or pink in it, in the juice, you know it's not ready yet. And you always go through the thickest part, not the thinnest. Because if you go through the thinnest part, thinnest part might be done. Thickest part, not so much. Mm. I'm sorry. Just suffer. But, happy 4th of July. Mm. Oh, come here. I'm going to show y'all so. Look at this. That is what you call getting it in. So at this degree, 300, a little bit, little bit over 300. Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, 150 degrees Celsius, or is it centigrade? It's one of them, shoot. This is what I'm cooking. So I got asparagus on here. I already started to get it in. Let me just toss these around a little bit. Look at how green they're starting to get now. Because they got a little heat on them. And then... Gotta let them do that. Now, I'll take this. Oh, I also forgot to tell y'all that I put a little bit of squeezed lemon in it. And yeah, it's gonna be fire. Do, 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 do. Yep, it's about to be fire. Oh my goodness, this is 
So what I'm probably do is I'm going to make those medium. So around the time that I take, um, the, so around the time that I take my asparagus off of that grill, the meat coming with it. So let me pick my meat back up because it was just, oh. But I'm going to enjoy this. All I got is meat and veggies. That's it. I don't even care. But. Hmm. My assistant Hemlock did something super nice for me. So, I just saw it. Um. <clears throat> but yeah. I'm going to see y'all later. This is Ms. Biz. Signing out. I'm so sorry. It's rude. But I'm hungry. And this is good. Good. G-O-O-T. Okay? Good. You know what good is. If you've eaten something that's just like, mm, good. You don't, you don't even pronounce things correctly. You don't even use the right words. Because I almost said announce things correctly. Which is kind of announcing. But yeah, I put a ton of um, mesquite in there. I always put new mesquite whenever I put something new on the grill. Every time. Every time. Mm. Alright. I'm finna shine out now for real. Because I don't want to make y'all suffer no more. Okay? Mm. So this is Ms. Biz signing out. Deuces.